Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to another Cold Water stream with the Epic Mod version 2.22. Uh, I actually linked the mod in the description this time around and got rid of all the copywritten music, so hopefully this stream will stay up. Hey, Franklin, $10 right off the bat. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. We're going to try to play this time around, and hopefully our... Uh, Alpha class submarine won't implode multiple times. We'll start a campaign. Uh, we'll do the global map. We'll sail out of Murmansk. Oh, uh, or we could do a Pacific one. We'll do. Let's let's just. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do Murmansk. That's that's just classic. Audio sounds good. Okay, awesome. Good to know, Odif. SH-4 remake with U.S. fleet boats would be awesome. I agree. U.S. fleet boats don't get enough love. Yeah, I'm back at it, Andy. Hey, Will, Nikki. Hello, everybody. Burning Legion. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to do an Alpha 2. Once again, that looks pretty good. Hereby assign command of Alpha Class 2 submarine. Alpha 2 class, yeah. K123. Hey, that's just like our uh, Silent Hunter series, U123. Oh, we weren't U123. My bad. Not, not in this current playthrough, anyway. And we have the run up to the war. Get through all this for those of you that don't know this mod adds a lot of uh new boats mostly so you can play as the soviets in cold waters there are nato campaigns as well uh, this mod just adds a whole lot yep and this mod also adds surface ships Okay, intelligence data indicates that NATO will attempt to resupply their naval forces somewhere around the south coast of Africa via replenishment ships. A convoy of such ships is preparing to depart Quebec. Mission is to intercept and sink the replenishment ships before they can resupply NATO naval forces with munitions and provisions. Hey, a fat cat. Okay, so we're tasked with sinking them. Rearm and repair. Let's see what we got. I'm actually going to unload a few of these. Yeah, let's unload. We'll carry six of them. I do want more of these SSN 16s. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> the uh, NATO designation, like, oh, whatever. Anyway. We have four weight combing torpedoes, two Chevals, four MG-74s, which are quite helpful. You know, while we're at it. Yeah, we'll just, okay, cast off anchors away. Get out of here, try to break through the GIUK gap here and head towards the south coast of Africa. I want to try not to get my boat crushed this time. I I think last time I definitely had some issues. <laughs> so it, with the with the current series, you know, your crew shouts out orders and your depth in English, obviously. So you can hear verbally when you're getting uh, pretty freaking deep. Uh, with this mod, all the crew voices are in Russian, although there is an English version. But I, I figured I would do the most difficult thing, and that is learn Russian. The stallion, perfect, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Hey, Andrew James, thanks for the $5. Appreciate it. Head down towards the Cape of New Hope here, see what we got. We'll just we'll just hang out down here. Is 
the surface aspect of the mod today? Absolutely not. It's a lot of fun. I was playing it yesterday. I may, I may do something with it uh, later tonight. Hey, Cruise Promotions. Thanks for stopping by. Where is this this convoy? They, they did said the coast of Africa, right? Yeah, south coast of Africa, leaving Quebec. All right, so they should uh, come down here eventually. I guess that's a long journey. We may head out into the South Atlantic a little bit and try to intercept them out here. Oh, Arthur, I, I just started. You're not late at all. I got nothing. There are nuclear weapons in this mod. I'm not sure if they have it on the stallion, but. Oh, it looks like uh, Intel may have been wrong here. Just looking at the map, it looks like there's a task force around Wake. We got some sort of update, all Russian. I guess I think the war is going well. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, Sortuga Power. Gosh, I wish I could heart live stream comments. I would, man, you would just. You would get a big old hunk and heart from me. Okay. New contact bearing 328 designated CR1. Uh let's get a let us let's get a status report here. Load a moss. Yeah, we'll load a moss. A couple of those uh weight combing torpedoes. And one stallion. That's a pretty a balanced loadout. Nice and balanced, like a good breakfast. All right. Okay, new contact, bearing 333, designated zero 01. I'm gonna try to look at this a little more often. Cause last time, you know, I killed myself multiple times. Okay, try to figure out what these these boats are. It's pretty quiet. With all the ships in here, I find it just easier to get, run to periscope depth and identify them that way. Just clicking through all this is... Uh, let's actually do that. Go to periscope depth. Maybe they're just merchant ships? Yeah, I think they... I'm mostly worried about uh, NATO stubs. There we go, merchant ship. Definitely not going to be Russian. Let's go back to the NATO oilers and stuff. Oh, screw it, I don't know. Just wake me up when we're at Periscope. Okay. Yeah, picking stuff up on ESM. Oh, there's a helicopter. Alright, we got we're gonna risk it. Up scope.
Swing it around. Oh, hello. Is that helicopter? Okay, that's the closest thing we got. It looks like it's a neutral ship too. Down scope. Oh no, it's an American ship. I don't know if that's our mission objective though. Guess this could be a frigate or something as well. Sierra six, six contacts out here. Knox. Yeah, that detection strength. I'm not worried about that. Not worried about it at all. You know, people say I should be worried about it, but pfft, no. Am I hearing pinging or is that just ringing in my, my ears? Oh, and there we go, U.S. oil tanker. That's what I'm talking about. Go, small fleet oiler. These are them. I may just launch a wake homing torpedo at this frigate. Get it out of here not I don't have to worry about it. This is probably another frigate here. Yeah, Spruance destroyer. Don't know what this is, but I'm gonna go with an enemy. Subs have man pads in this mod? Do they really? That's pretty cool. Do you have to be, I'm guessing, I don't know how, how do you use them? I guess you have to surface, right? I'm sure there's some key bind for it. That Nox is pinging me and it can hear me on active, which I don't like. So, uh, may, yeah, have fun. Okay, where's that next ping? Next line of bearing. There we go. Okay, time to go. Drop down to like 200 meters. That sounds good. Change course. Also going to launch our moss now. Get that out of there. Fires automatically. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's reload a few more of those wake homing torpedoes. They have quite the range as well. Hopefully they'll pick something up and not <laughs> and not this neutral merchant ship. Although it's not neutral. It is American. But I don't think that's our mission objective. Okay, we're passing 60 meters. I don't know if we can go 10 knots at 60 meters. Let's try it. I'm sure it does. Uh, Obis. We have the Spruance here. It does. I'm just turning around 270. Combine, 
<laughs> okay, we have another. Okay, there's another spruance. That's. That makes me uncomfortable. Let's come up. We'll launch another Wakecombing torpedo at the spruance. Just shoot first, uh, ask questions later. Yeah, I think it actually is, Odif. Oh, and I do have my towed array that I can deploy. Oh, no, I don't have a towed array on this boat. This torpedo just went right by the Nox. This range is right. We only have a 52% solution, so who knows. I'll wait, see what the hell's going on here. The Nox looks like it may be doing something evasive. These ranges, there we go. Oh, it's a parry. Interesting. Well, if these torpedoes run off towards the tankers, that's fine as well. They dropped a torpedo, dropped a couple of torpedoes. Okay. Hopefully I'm, uh, I don't know what depth. I can't launch these below 108 meters, okay? 107 meters then. I'll pop up. Oh, the Spruance is being, uh, tracked by one of our torpedoes. Drop the Noisemaker. Currently at 112 meters, almost there. 107, there we go. Tube 4. Fire. And uh, should I launch another one? Another noisemaker from Sierra 6. Problem is, I'm already almost out of these weight combing torpedoes. I only have one left, and it's in the tube. Okay. This is when I wish I was in the Oscar again. That thing was brutal. Yeah, screw it. Let's launch another one. Okay, the parry's going evasive. I don't have uh, missiles in this uh, sub, unfortunately. I'm in an alpha. Last night I took an Oscar and uh, we had plenty of missiles in that. Parry's doing all sorts of wild maneuvers. Nothing can save you now. Hopefully. We'll see. Okay, Sierra 1 just launched a torpedo our way. This is getting a little more complicated. Our torpedoes aren't doing too well this time around. Where is it? I, I hear it. Oh, there it is. It's it's tracking it. Not doing a great job. No, it's an ASW uh, rocket assisted torpedo. It shoots out the tube, goes up, and it falls down on the target. They're pretty great. Looks like we have more noise makers by the other spruance. Oh, got one. There we go. One parry's going down. Where are these oilers? They're hauling ass at 15 knots. We should be able to catch them. This parry's probably going to eat it as well. 
Looks like this uh, Spruance here is going evasive as well. Wonder if a torpedo is homing onto her. Our torpedo is still following the wake of this parry as well. Perfect. This is going well. Something, oh, uh, I think our torpedo ran out of juice. Yikes, that's not good. Wow, all of those torpedoes missed. All right, we're gonna turn and try to head for the Oilers. Those are all right. The Oilers are our mission, mission objective. Jesus, words. So we're gonna wait till this. Harry puts us in her baffles and then we're just gonna haul ass. Alright. Go to twenty knots. Okay, we're in her baffles. Not sure about the oh the spruance can hear us, so okay, slow back down. Okay, I'll start going 20 knots. Okay, bump up to 30. to go deeper to go 40 some knots without cavitating. Okay, let's try it now. There we go, not cavitating now. seeing anything. Hopefully the uh, Americans are distracted by our decoy down here. Seems like they are. Hey, let's turn to intercept the Oilers. Yeah, they're still messing around down there, I think. Beautiful. What should I load in here? Cheval? No, I cannot hear anything at 46 knots. Not without going active. <laughs> They're dropping torpedoes all around this moss. I can see them pop up here and like occasionally. That's funny. Nice try. Yep, these are super capitating torpedoes. Not going to be able to hit anything with one, but it's not really the point. Hey, Compulsive. Hey, Luke, everybody.
Hey, we should be getting pretty close soon. Okay, let's slow down 10 knots, or 5 knots. Take a listen. Oh, wow. Close. Hey, yeah, let's change course. This range is obviously wrong, but... 34% solution. I have no idea. Let's go active. Find these really quickly. Okay, got them both. Perfect. Okay. Secure that. Active sensors on all these. We'll reload. We'll shoot two and two. Hey, Pioneer. Welcome. How's it going, man? Don't look behind me. All right, we'll reload. Hopefully, I, the small oiler may go down with one torpedo, but I don't know about the large U.S. tanker there. Oh, uh, the mod's called Epic Mod, Tim. Debating just firing uh, two more. Let's bump up to 10 knots. Change heading 095. Okay, the torpedo's going up. Running near the surface now. Hopefully, that acquires the uh, freighters, the oilers. Come on, you big dumb torpedo. You can do it. Oh my gosh. This one may acquire something though. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, looks like we'll have to use more. We'll have him go squiggle in zigzag search pattern. Probably my first mistake. Okay, let's fire him before the American escorts come here. We'll have one go for the US alone. There we go. Use them in wake homing mode? I didn't know they had a wake homing mode. Uh oh. I'm almost out of torpedoes already. I'll see if these torpedoes get anything. This one might catch up. But yeah, these oilers are... Tankers are kind of annoying. Oh, uh, out of range. Man. Well, I'm out of anything really that can harm these guys. I should have brought more of the wake homing torpedoes. We can leave though. Yep, we're gonna have to leave combat and take this one. We sunk one parry. 
Uh, Chavals aren't going to be able to hear that. Uh, command's disappointed. There's nothing I could have really done. Return to Mermance, yeah. I don't have too much ammo. Too much ordnance in this thing. Let's avoid that ASW patrol in the middle of the Atlantic there. Uh oh. New sonar contact bearing 127 designated Sierra 1. Status report. Take three of these. One of that. Yeah, this looks like a good loadout. I don't know. Yeah, let's close to 25 kilometers. Here's for ultra quiet. Can we just leave? No. Can't. New sonar contact. That's an AI zero one. We're under this layer, so that should help. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, this is a surface group. I really don't want to tangle with them. Drop down to like 320 meters. Looks like they're sailing away. Let's turn south. That way they're not in our battles. Let's get out of here. We're not equipped to fight these guys right now. Really not do it unless I need to. Especially their surface ships. Okay, we're good. Leave combat. Yeah, a parry, two Noxes, and a Belknap. Not my idea of fun. Uh, probably means not your mission objective in Russian. I, I think that's what that means. <laughs> I've seen that message enough. All right, let's book it. We'll go through the Denmark Strait and try to get through Murmansk that way. Go to the Arctic. I think that may be our best bet. Okay. Lots of NATO air patrols. Okay, well, been at war for 10 days and we sunk a ship. At least we have that going for us. Intelligence analysts inform us that NATO will attempt to replenish some of their naval units around the Arabian Sea. A convoy of replenishment ships are getting ready to sortie from Tel Avi. I must admit, I don't know where that is. Hey, P-35 Flash, thanks for the $5. Really enjoy my content, especially the Silent Hunter stuff. I appreciate that. Arm and repair. We'll take a few more of these 53, 65Ms. These are handy. Take six of them. Yeah, six. Take six. Oh. Hmm.
Yeah, that's a balanced loadout, I guess. I wish this boat had more stores. Yeah, that's fine. Israel, got it. Arabian Sea. Okay. Oh gosh, look at all this crap following me. I don't think I can go through the Suez Canal to get there. Okay, I see the, the task force there. This will be interesting. Why are they assigning me to... They don't have Pacific base boats that can do this? Oh, Suez Canal works? Interesting. Okay, we got something. New contact bearing 296 as an ACR one. There's a strong surface duct and a strong thermal layer at 35 meters. Status report. We'll, uh, we'll sub out the Cheval for a stallion. Okay, Rick for ultra quiet. See if we get pinged right off the bat. You hear that already? You gotta be kidding me. Probably a P3 or something. Drop down a little bit, 213 meters. No active pinging. Oh, there we go. Got one. <laughs> Send it right back at him. Okay, oh shit. Two pings. That's not fun. I'm assuming they're surface ships. Three pings. This is just getting worse and worse. Yeah, if I'm not picking them up on active, I doubt they're hearing me or picking me up. I could just launch down their lines of bearing. I highly suspect. Oh, jeez, look at that. Ugh. Okay. Alright, all ahead flank. I turned that shit off. <laughs> I guess I guess their active sonar does work a bit. Okay, drop down, we gotta stop cavitating. It's our depth 300 meters passing. Hey, we're not cavitating. Level out. Oh, jeez, Louise. Noisemaker. 
at 443 meters. Okay, reload a Moss or the Soviet equivalent. I'll last at 46 knots out of here. A noisemaker's tripping them up. What depth do I have to be at to launch these? I can't launch these below 108 meters. The torpedo's helming on to us. Drop another decoy here. Okay, we have a moss ready just in case we need it. I think I'm gonna need it. I don't think I can fire at 46 knots though. Get all these R socks. Holy cow. Okay, slow down to 20 knots. I'm gonna fire this moss off. Okay, moss away. Back to flank. Let's just part ways with our moss, try to break contact. Slowed another wake home and torpedo. One of the torpedoes is broken off, but you know what? I'll take one over the four others. I'm out of drink. Shoot. We'll drag this one a little farther, drop a decoy, and turn north. Oh, they're dropping more stuff on the moss. I'm calling it a moss, but you all know what I mean. Thankfully, these little guys don't have too much fuel, and they're fairly small. I can take multiple of them. The warhead's pretty tiny. I may be able to flat out outrun this one. Oh, it broke. Perfect. Yeah, let's keep running. Yeah, think of all the dollars they just wasted on me. Okay. Rig for ultra quiet. Come up to 107 meters. The problem is, I have no idea if this is our intended target. Like, is this the... Does this force consist of the tankers that we're going for? I don't know. Head north. Periscope depth. Okay, we'll come up above the layer, which will be dangerous, but... Sierra 1. Sierra 2. Okay, we gotta do this quick. I just need to know if there's a tanker. Knox.
U.S. small cargo LST. What's the range on these things? They're just out of range if these uh, readings are to be believed. A real man would surface the boat. Ugh. Unfortunately, I'm I'm half the man you are, Tortuga. I'm nothing. Hey, welcome, CG. Oh, nice clockworks. Okay, let's see. Let, we'll, we'll let this uh, marinate a little bit. We'll see what's going on. The problem is, they're just at the range of our... Look at Sierra 3 just booking it out of here. This is another cargo. I think this is our task force that we're supposed to intercept. Merchants should know. What the? U.S. cargo. Uh, it's actually this small one. Sierra 1. I thought I was getting no way this one Nox dropped all those R socks on me. Really? Is this a warship? Another Nox. That explains it. Mm -mm -mm. What to do? What to do? Okay, we have an... Okay, well, first, let's drop below the layer before we fire. 107 meters. Change course slightly. Okay, we lost all of them. That's fine. Oh, we aren't even getting their active pings down here. Go back up? Did they just stop? No. Okay, back to periscope depth. We'll just fire at PD. Yep, there we go. Okay, give me one more ping. There we go. Give me another one. Pretty please. Should I just fire two at the Nox? I feel I think I yep yeah, okay fuck it okay down to 183 get below that layer quickly please I'll fire. I just don't want to waste these. That's my that's my problem here. I would love to take out both the Noxes now. I'll hold. One second. Hopefully a torpedo doesn't drop on me while I go get my drink. Oh, 
длина 150 метров. All right. There we go. Still alive. <sighs> we'll just hang out down here. Level out. Let's see if uh, these torpedoes get anywhere close. Oh, there's a torpedo in the water there. Interesting. I don't like that. Let's turn away from that a little bit. Use time compression. Okay, it looks like the Nox may be... Uh... thought it would be panicking, but it's not. It's just... Just vibing. Not doing anything. Oh, okay. Well, my, my chat's all bort. Here we go. Okay, my, my, my chat's fixed now. Okay, those torpedoes are coming right at me. Really? I'm amazed that that knocks. So, uh, a large, a large portion of the chat, I just, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I was like, it's surprising nobody's chatting, but it was just glitched out. Okay. Go to 168. More torpedoes in the water out there. Maybe I should just book it for the cargo ships. Looks like these two Noxes are still hunting us. Hey, Raging. Thanks for the, the two uh, euros. I appreciate that. Two pounds, sorry. Finish just taking over the chat. Destroying, destroying the channel. Uh, let's change course slightly. Head towards the Knox. Howdy, James. Okay, we're gonna... I'm tired of this Knox, alright? Gotta finish it off. What's our depth? 168. Let's come up to 107 so we can fire. Okay, we're at 112. 107. Here you go. You... So is the best way to fire these wake homing torpedoes, like, aft of it? I guess I should shoot a little behind its uh, projected path, impact point. All right? I don't know. Victoria. Victoria. 
behind where it will be. We'll go to the target as long as it hits the wake. Okay. I'll shoot like here. Yeah. Uh, uh, man, Tortuga, Tortuga's over here. Uh, what? Great. What a, uh, that's hilarious. Howdy, James. Oh my gosh, is this little bastard slowing down? Oh. Oh, oh. Let's try again. This one should hit his wake. I hope. Yeah, this is looking like it'll hit the wake. Okay, it's following. Yep, yeah, it's following the wake. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Looking good. The wake, the wake disappeared because we lost contact. Oh, geez, there, that Nox is. This one's getting pretty damn close to us as well. Okay, we'll fire one of these. Um, active sensor, have it run near the surface. Which one is the wake homing option? I think it's this one. But do I want the wake homing option? I just went, man, I long for wire guiding, wire guided torpedoes. Active instead of passive. Passive set. Okay, so passive sensor for wake homing. All right. I'm waiting till I get some more. Just. Okay, so torpedo set the passive. All right. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I've had this mod for like two days, two or three days. I've just been screwing around. I don't know what I'm doing. All these, all these new weapons. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Okay, this one should hit the wake. Okay, decoys, and the torpedo is homing on the target. Oh, Sierra 2 was sunk. Heck yeah. Okay, we got the Nox. Alright, so this torpedo is following the wake. And we have two of these left to take out the uh, cargo ships. Oh, I hear it. Oh, there we go. Boom. Hey, Lily, I have seen the Bedford incident. It is a good movie, I agree. There we go. Two Noxes taken out. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is this is getting better. The 6576 has a 60 kilometer range. Holy cow. 
That makes sense. Those were uh, made to go after carrier groups, though, right? Okay, let's drop down to, you know, like 300 meters so we can go 46 knots. Wolfpack Rule the Waves series win. If you want to watch them Rule the Waves, I definitely recommend Tortuga Power. You're going to have alcohol poisoning with this game, Tobis. Now, if we were playing IL-2, that'd be understandable. Okay, let's go 30 knots. Oh, something else is actively pinging us. Okay, so there's still one. Oh, that did not look fun. There's a torpedo. Yeah, it just dropped on us. 46 knots. Let's go. We're cavitating. Okay. Torpedo's not. Oh, maybe it is. It may just be circling. Yeah, it's just circling up here. We're good. We're good. Okay, let's hang out at 420 meters. Another torpedo in the water. Hey, okay, time to dodge. Howdy, RB. Oh, this one's actually going down. Hmm, don't like that. Drop a decoy here. Keep running. I do like torpedo evasion a bit more in this mod. It's a bit more uh, Dangerous Waters-esque. Oh, that torpedo explode? What the hell? Okay. I'm not complaining. Is it is it too deep for the torpedoes? That may be interesting. We're at 527 meters, so. Oh my gosh. That is really good to know. They have a depth limit of around 500-ish meters. I'm unstoppable. Okay. Uh, I accidentally hid the UI there. Okay, let's find these cargo ships. I'm not. I'm not worried about these anymore. Drop all the all the torpedoes you want. Yeah, I'm trying to track down these cargo ships. Let's just make sure, yep. Yeah. Hey, I don't give a shit. Come get me.
<laughs> that's hilarious. That's that's great. Okay, I think Sierra Five is the other um, warship here. Okay, it's coming down towards us. Hopefully, it detonates before it hits us. We'll see, though. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. Okay, drop a decoy. Oh, jeez. Okay, this one seems to be okay. Come on, form a knuckle. There we go, baby. Okay, we're at 630 meters. Level out. Don't go any deeper. Uh, last time we imploded twice. So we want to avoid doing that. Okay, am I getting ping from... Okay, let's look at... Let's watch this map very intently. Oh, there's, there's two more warships. Okay, come up to a reasonable depth. And slow down. Also, hey, with uh, with all the voices in English, your crew starts screaming at you when you're getting pretty deep. But since I can't really understand everything, uh, it makes it a little more interesting. Okay, what's our depth? 169 meters. Ten knots, 152. Let's go up above 107. Actually, let's go to periscope depth. And go down to five knots. Oh shit, cavitating. Zero five is pretty close. Look at these cargo. What is Sierra 6 up to? Okay, up periscope. Real fast. Let's find them. Oh, hello. Down scope. Have fun. Why is it just sitting there? What is... You having a moment? You okay? I'll see... The source moving with this torpedo coming at it. Yeah, it's dropping decoys. Perfect. Okay, it's on the way. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah, I guess uh, Blay is fire. There we go, another Nox. Adios. Okay, 
Звезда об обладании. Контакт исчез. Okay, up periscope. Bring it around town, try to find that other warship. That's a that's a nice sight for us. There she is. Mark. Come on, mark it for me. Alright, torpedo away. Hoosk. Yeah, I agree. I love I love this shape. The alphas, the Akulas. The Akulas probably my favorite. guy doesn't have any idea what's coming. I think it just dropped something in the water. Okay, in that case, let's drop down a little deeper. Okay, torpedoes homing. All right, we got her. Noise maker, but there we go. Torpedo impacts. Did that not sink her? Oh my gosh, I am amazed. Okay, well, in that case, back to Periscope. I can't believe she's still okay. Okay, there's her torpedo that she just dropped in the water. Yeah, she's taking on a lot of water. I don't know if she'll sink here. Like, does cold waters have dynamic flooding and stuff? I I didn't think it really uh, was that deep with uh, the AI ship damage model. But I don't know. I haven't played that much. Like... She'll sink. Oh, looks like we have other things to worry about anyway. I hope you're right. That torpedo just exploded. Okay. Time to head for the tankers. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, me neither, Tortuga. That's why I was curious. Never seen a sh ship sink later that didn't sink immediately. Yeah. I don't know. I hope I don't regret uh, leaving this thing. Honestly, it doesn't look like it's any lower in the water. Okay, down to like 350 
All right, let's try to find those cargo ships. All ahead, flank. 46 knots. Yeah, Rick, it's just like a, uh, like a 2D damage effect. I don't think the holes really represent, uh, damage, like, on your boat or anything. It's just, it's kind of like Silent Hunter in that way. Okay, man, this mission has been going on for a while. The Alpha is not the best at taking out surface fleets. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty solid point, Odif. Holy... Okay, it's coming down for us. Let's go deeper. What, 500 meters? Is that where it crushed? There are nukes molded. Um, I don't have any on board, though. Okay, we're at 506 meters. Go a little deeper, 540. <laughs> yeah, comrade, uh, they do. It's definitely much harder to dodge torpedoes and knuckles don't do as much, which I kind of think is a good thing. There we go, it crushed. Yeah, when decoys are decoys. Yeah, exactly. The mod definitely uh, fixes a lot of the issues I have with uh, torpedo evasion in the base game. Well, these little uh, RSOC torpedoes are pretty much um, American RBUs. Okay, level out here. Another torpedo in the water. Jeez, these guys aren't... I'll keep running towards these cargo ships. I'm getting kind of tired of this, though. I should have finished off that dumb uh, Falcon app down there. My depth is varying a lot. I wonder what the, what's up with that. Like, why am I not... Look, I'm going down to 470 meters. Like... Everything's fine, though. <clears throat> okay, let's come up. Oh, I thought... I kind of figured it would sink on its own. Okay, 
Okay, let's find those American tankers. Airship up. Rig for ultra quiet. Okay, at nine meters, up periscope. <clears throat> kind of ready to finish this mission. This has been much longer than any uh, mission I've played thus far, I think, in the base game. I don't see shit. I wonder if firing one more, like, what's the range of this thing? Oh, it's just out of range, really. Okay, back down we go, and we're going to run some more. Cargos are to the southwest here. Yeah, I was using active. Turn it off, I guess. I think there's a torpedo following me. Yep, there it is. Noisemaker. Turn south, go 46 knots. Oh, what the hell? I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize we kept going down. And that's why the English voices are nice. <laughs> Rip. Let's abandon ship. Oh my gosh. Lost with all hands. What the heck? I suck at this game. You just check the depth depth gauge. <laughs> All right. No, I'm telling I okay, yeah, let's let's bring up another problem I have with this game. Right, we'll just we'll just start this. No, I don't want a potty.
Yeah, uh, yeah, in the chat window on the left, it tells you how deep it is, but the text is like minuscule. You know what? I I'm sorry you're upset. I'm upset too. That's Let's go. Yeah, the potty's the worst. Okay, companies have decided to supply NATO with fuel and lubricants, yada, 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 tankers and holly, holy lock, excuse me, ensure that these supplies never reach NATO forces. Okay, 20 missiles, that should be fine. Yeah, this is, this is fine. Off anchors away. Got something. Okay, so So my thing is like your depth is just this tiny little little no, like line right here it's so small like i wish it was down here on the bottom where it was easy to see i've always had that problem with this game i always thought it was dumb okay we'll raise all of our mast i already have a torpedo launched well let's load some of these in Okay, you want to use the guns? Oh, here's a merchant right here. All right, let's turn so we can bring our guns to bear on the merchant ship. Start moving, 15 knots. There they go. <laughs> uh, that fire rate. Sorry, Kiki Delivery Services. <laughs> oh man, that's good. I'll start using active sonar and try to find this find the sub. Oh 
Oh, guns have ammo? I should probably not just rapid fire at merchant ships. Okay, we'll stop. All right, hold fire. I think that's good. Weapons tab, you see the ammo count? Okay, gotcha. I mean, these? These are ASW, though. That's what they're meant for. Okay, we got it. another one Oh, that's when I hit the... There we go. Coming torpedoes, all head flank. Drop a decoy here. Circle on back there, perfect. Weapons nearby. Okay. We'll try it. We'll do a submarine again. I'll just pay attention to my depth. I can't believe... I'm kind of pissed at myself for crushing our boat again. I just used time compression and wasn't paying attention. Oh, one the stream seeker. Thank you very much.
All right, leave combat. Socket, perfect. All right. This one. That was fun to play as a Kirov. I don't know if I'd ever do a series in that. I think if I were to do a series, it'd probably be a... Uh, it would be with the submarines. And let's... Who do I want to play? We can do a 1960s campaign, but it's all in Russian. That's the part that's kind of unfortunate there. Okay, Tango, Alpha, Alpha. Doing old sub. Oof. Let's do the Akula. Yeah, let's play in an Akula. Hopefully we don't get another uh, intercept convoy mission. I did a kilo last stream. Okay. An enemy carrier task force is preparing to sail from that location. Intelligence estimates it'll make a conservative patrol within the, in the vicinity of the Western Mediterranean in order to destroy this carrier task force with an emphasis on sinking the, the aircraft carrier. This is Houston? Okay, gotcha. Rearm and repair, let's see what we got. Quite a few stallions. The 6576s, these are really what I want. I think eight of them will be sufficient for this. Okay. Uh, yeah, this should be a fine loadout. Cast off anchors away. We're way up here in the Pacific now. Sixty-five seventy-six is the capital ship buster. Got it. We'll hug the coast of China here. NATO designation Typhoon is called Akula and for the Russians. The Russians call it an Akula class. That may be the confusion. So I can go through... He said Western Mediterranean. Yeah, I, so I can... Problem is, look at all... The Mediterranean is just solid NATO. I'll go around the co around Africa here. I was playing with the Yasin last night, and that one's a load of fun. Shoot, we got something. New sonar contact bearing 175, designated Sierra 1. Our depth is 183 meters, heading 089. Speed is 20 knots. There's a weak thermal layer at 40 meters. Status report. Load a few of these bad boys in. One Moss, or MG74, I guess. That should be okay. 
Test 71M is the only Russian wire guide to torp. We'll take one of those as well. One second. All right, close to uh, 25 kilometers. Okay, let's see what's going on. Immediately lost him. There we go, Sierra 1. Okay. Thanks, Sierra Six is a sub. Okay, get that back in here. I have to start going evasive here in a second. Yep, permit class. Can't launch this below 101 meters. that out of here. Depth is 153 meters. Let's see if we can drop these on this permit. There we go, we're good. Okay, there they go. Down we go, time to get the hell out of here. The permit's running. Yeah, they're both locked onto the permit. Beautiful. Do 
Okay, the noisemaker threw it off. Okay, here we go. Currently at 167 meters. I'm gonna check my depth manually. Like constantly. <laughs> there we go, one hit. Let's see, we got another one coming in. Hopefully two will be enough to sink her. There we go, she's going down. Goodbye permit. Oh, okay. I thought we got one of the surface ships as well. I don't know if we'll really hit any of the surface ships with those torpedoes. Look at all that. Jeez. Let's start moving. A little sense of urgency here. Oh. Hey, look at that. I don't think this is our intended target, but... Let's start loading some of these in. How many do I have? I have four. Hmm. I don't know if the game classifies this as a carrier. Mm mm mm. We'll see. Let's break contact slightly. Oh, jeez. Decoy. Oh, shit. That's close. <laughs> How lucky was that? I didn't even see it. This murky water makes everything pretty difficult to see. Free speed to 33 knots. Torpedo relocked onto me. Okay, drop a decoy here. Change course. This thing's continuing to follow me. Okay, let's go down. Yeah, I'm watching my depth. Three hundred and thirty meters. Other noisemaker. Jeez, this little bastard's persistent. Five hundred and thirty meters. Okay, level out. Okay, it's above me, it's circling. I'm at five hundred and seventy-three meters. Seventy-four. I keep dropping for some reason, just slowly, but everything zeroed out. I press X. That's like maintain this depth, right? Okay. Yeah, straight and level. Oh, the Garcia. Something's dropping noisemakers way out here. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Another one.
Okay, let's turn off active for a second. Okay, a spruance went down. Oh, another thing's breaking up. Garcia? We're kicking ass. Later, Victoria. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, I'll head for the Iwo Jima. Noisemakers. Okay, let's slow down. The spruance. Don't see the it you will. Let's come up to a reasonable depth. Okay, there's the Ewo. Ultra quiet. Okay, passing 200 meters. at the spruance. Two towards the Ewo. And one at this other spruance. Fire a moss out this way. There we go, and go back down. here. Begin reloads. May grab get something with this one. Yeah, looks like it's turning in. No, maybe not. No torpedoes near our boat, although something just launched one here.
Oh, the Iwo is way farther south than I thought it was. Oh, yikes. I upload Silent Hunter 3 uh, once a week. down there towards the Iwo. Actually, we'll fire two down there. Let's see, it's going 22 knots. Fire one of the southern spruance here. Okay, noisemakers on Sierra 3. I think she's about to get it. Look at our torpedoes. Oh, uh, there's still heading for the Iwo Jima out there. Currently at 265 meters. Hey, thanks, Gizmos. Appreciate it. Spruance is going nuts. Still running towards the target, we'll see. Look at how far away they are, wow. Getting pretty close. Torpedo's still running kinda deep though, hopefully it'll pick up her wake. We shall see. Let's drop down to what, say 350, 60 meters. Okay, torpedoes come up to the surface. Come on, it's right there. Alright, let's start moving towards the target. I don't know, this torpedo may just go right on by, unfortunately. Alright, 
All right, let's make 33 knots and start chasing her down. Start reloading. Sticking at 366 meters. Once I get around to the last position of the small fleet oiler, I guess I'll go active. Try to find these two vessels here, since the last spruance is way up north, hopefully, still. Don't want to go active with uh, that around. Quite intimidating. Hey, thanks, NC Dave and Bilk Fire Dog. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's a placeholder, Ed. Okay, let's slow down, come up to about 100 meters above the lair. Hey, we have contacts on the oiler. Range 30 kilometers. Switch to active. how far away they are. Hopefully we can pick them up this time. We'll just fire a spread, I suppose. Guess I should have them zigzag. I can't. I can't have these zigzag, unfortunately. I can have these zigzag, though. But she's out of range. Okay, let's go back down. 120 meters.
Hopefully one of these picks it up. At least slows it down. Let's keep going down so I can resume my 33 knots. I also have missiles. Okay, leveling out at 300 meters, making turns for 33 knots. Just admire the Akula. I also have my Toad Array, which I haven't been using, mostly because I've just been booking it. Got the, <laughs> got the oiler apparently. Not the intended target, but I'll take it. Yeah, it can float upwards, Odif. Yeah, yeah, it kind of bends, so... Like, a lot of American subs have it on the side. I guess you don't want it to accidentally hit the prop. Plus, it looks cool. We'll see if this uh, any of these other torpedoes lock onto something. Come across the wake. We'll keep booking it so we can get pretty close. I just love the way the Akula looks. Probably my favorite, favorite looking uh, modern submarine. I'll keep bucking it, trying to find this Ewo, get nice and close to it. I don't think I've imploded one of these seeker. Not yet anyway. Um wonder why Russian subs can dive down to like 2k feet, but a modern Virginia can only do 900. Well, you also have to think we don't know the real de <laughs> depth that a Virginia class can go.
Like, there's no way we, we have the real numbers for any of these subs. Okay, let's come up to Periscope that. And also just different uh, priorities for the different countries. Okay, reestablish contact on the EWO. If you can't find Wolfpack sinking Americans in World War II, you'll find them sinking Americans in the 80s? Ouch. Okay, you're going to get it now, Ewo. We can try these. I think these are T-Lambs. Still too far away. What's this thing speed? I have no idea. How fast is this thing going? It has it is booking it. Twenty two knots. These are SSN 21s. And they have a, a 3,000 kilometer range. Now let's just go flank. I don't care if I'm cavitating. Let's like, go back down. This is just going to take a little longer than uh, I anticipated. Yeah, and I think they are T-Lambs. Getting close. Alright, we have to get close enough to it before it reaches this red line. I've, <laughs> I've never traveled this far. Never had a reason to in the base game. Yeah, India, we are. I sunk the tanker, though. At least we got that. I don't have any missiles that can hurt it. Oh, 
off time compression come up to periscope depth we'll just order periscope depth hey thanks assassin uh, I may stream. I streamed Silent Hunter 4 not too long ago, but I don't know if I'll stream Silent Hunter 3 when I have a SH3 series going. Thanks, Nathan. Dude, yeah, I love the Kula. Yeah, she's closer. Range? No idea. Okay, what's the range of these wire guided torpedoes? They're just within range. Okay, let's fire one of these. Fire guided torpedoes. Hopefully it'll slow her down. We're out of range for the rest of them. I could try to fire these, maybe hurt her. Okay, there we go. Now we have a range. 20 kilometers. No, Mikhail, I can see your, your things. We'll try it. I'm desperate at this point. I love these things. See if it'll lock onto them. Maybe too deep, honestly. It's kind of a long shot. She is maneuvering, however. Yeah, let's go ahead and raise my radar mast. There, there she is. She's coming back around. Beautiful. Come at me, Iwo Jima. Ooh, she's coming back towards these as well. They may lock onto her. Oh, no. They ran out of steam. That's the way it is. Oh, 
We'll see how this little guy does. I just want to slow her down. But now that she's coming back towards us, I mean... Doesn't look like this thing has any sonar or anything like that, so it has no idea. I think she's still out of range of our normal torpedoes, yeah. Okay, here we go. Active the torp activate the torpedo. Have it come up to the surface. Hopefully it doesn't run out of steam. Here we go. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Odif. Okay, weapon acquired. Here we go, torpedo impact. Probably want to shrug that one off, aren't you? Okay, we'll I'll try again. Do another one. She's going to take quite a few, I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's just within range of these as well. We'll wait till we get a little closer to use that. Her speed, 15 knots. Yeah, slowed her down a bit. Or 13 knots, excuse me. Do I have more of these wire guided ones? Yeah, I do. A couple more. Let's load those in. No I, sign of that spruance that we left. We lost the wire. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it acquires. I don't know. I'm surprised we lost a wire. Oh, but well we got her. Wire break immediately. That's not right. Okay. That's odd that the wire just broke right out the tube. Well, my speed's only uh, five knots. But yeah, I think the boundary did make her turn around. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think cold waters does simulate compartments. I think you're right. Okay. One torpedoes locking on. Let's Our second one is as well. We'll try to hit her amidships with this torpedo instead of the bow. There we go, another torpedo impact. Look at those screws coming to us halt, it looks like. Here we go, come on. Boom! There we go. All right, that took long enough and enough torpedoes. Turn off active. Look at her just in smoke up there. Let's up Paris here. I want to savor this moment. 
I'll do one more mission after this and I'll probably have to end the stream. Hopefully the next mission isn't as long as uh, this one here. <laughs> this was a long one. Here, one moment. Uh, leave combat. Okay, one Spruance escaped. We sunk 44,000 tons. Not too bad. We used quite a few uh, weapons. And that was the one we were supposed to get. Excellent work, Commander. Thank you very much. We got a medal. Enemy surface unit is preparing to sell from... I'm guessing that's Houston again, right? Uh, beginning a patrol in the immediate vicinity of the Mediterranean Sea. Some of the ships in this surface unit carry long-range missiles. Able to cause serious damage. Thus endangering the resupply unit. Resupply of USSR units. Okay. Continue. Status report. What do we got? I don't think we're really equipped to uh, handle another surface fleet. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, continue on course. We're going to try to... We're going to go home and rearm our boat. That's what we're going to do. They were going to the med, Chris, but I'm in no condition to take on another surface group. I can't rearm at Murmansk, I don't think. It has to be my home port, I believe. Okay. This is some cool artwork though. Look at that. I'm sure I'm sure that means the war is going swimmingly. Okay, uh aircraft just flew right overhead. Oh, Guam fell. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, Mark, that's kind of crazy. Okay, been at war for nine days. Got that medal. Continue, let's rearm our boat. Rearm and repair. So, I do want a few more of these stallions. Take five of these. Look, we have 40. We can hold 40 weapons. That's amazing compared to the alpha, which was just 20. Um, we'll take a few of these. Take six. I, I like even numbers. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a good loadout. We don't really need T-Lambs. 
Yeah, let's get rid of those. I have six mosses. We'll take a couple more stallions. The wire guided ones were helpful. Let's take eight. What are these? Hey, thanks, Mikhail. Reminder, you can traverse the, the gap between east and west. That's right. Yeah. I should make better use of that. Okay. One more stallion. I'll take another. You said 80. There we go. Pass off anchors away. I kind of want to intercept an enemy submarine. I just want to fight a sub. The sub v sub. I think that would be a fun way to end the stream. and Hopefully we don't die. There was an American sub in the Indian Ocean. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Keep at least two in case of a ground attack mission. Oh yeah, that would have been a good idea. This isn't a series, so I'm okay with just loading up and having some fun. There's uh, an enemy submarine up near Iceland. We'll head towards the med. Well, thanks for stopping by, Tobis. Yeah, the stream's about to end. I just kind of want to get a quick fight in against the sub. Can I go under the, the South Pole? North Pole? I don't think so. Look, look at that sub up there, though. Yeah, I don't know, like, in the game, if you can go... to the North Pole. Like, I mean, I don't know. Not with this map. Okay, there's a cat task force. There's one south. Yep, that's the plan, Mikhail. Hello? Okay, here we go. Got one. Okay, new sonar contact bearing 184. Designated 01. Very weak surface duct. Very weak thermal layer. Depth is 46 meters. We're going 10 knots. Let's close to 25 kilometers. Yeah. Start out nice and far away. Okay, rig for ultra quiet real fast. Turn south. I should have... Uh, God. I should have checked my loadout before I did this. Uh, let's reload real fast. Get uh, a couple of these wire guided torpedoes in. Look at all this crap. Come up to periscope depth. Some of these have to be merchant ships. Yeah, see you later, Clocksworks. Thanks for saying. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, underwater hydrophones and whatnot, Ward. Like I, I don't know about the Soviets. I'm sure they did have. Uh, oh yeah, they did. But uh, the NATO had a SOSIS to like a series of underwater hydrophones around the GIUK gap, picking up Russian subs going and leaving. I'm sure the Soviets had the same or similar things. I think they were dropping hi like uh, hydrophones in the Mediterranean one time and uh, the Americans started just shooting them. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Up uh, periscope. Yeah, there we go. Wow, are all of these submarines? Okay, here we go. Master. Okay. 
The rest of these are either beyond visual range. Or they're underwater. Or whales, that's right, Chris. It's a solid point. Oh, hello. Thanks, close. There we go. That did it. That's our sub right there. Let's drop below the layer. Not sure uh, what class of sub it is. Uh, the Chevals are in the game. I don't have them currently. Oh, I have my toad array. Deploy that. Los Angeles. Oh, look at the toad array. That's great. Okay, so she can hear us on active and barely hear us. Let's drop down to like three or two knots. She is turning and maybe we're in her baffles. Beautiful. We're at 76 meters. We should be good enough to drop these right on top of her. We'll also fire a wire guided torpedo. She's cavitating already. Let's see if she'll counter launch. Yeah, she's running. That's lame. That's she. I guess not the quietest launch. Okay, she did launch a torpedo. Let's launch a moss this way. About to have a lot of fun with these. Oh, right next to her. We'll see. Hopefully they acquire. There she is. Come on. Oh, got her. I love, I love these stallions. They're great. Small warheads, but just dropping enemies or dropping uh, torpedoes directly on top of them is just too great. <laughs> Okay, it's time to start diving down, however. 229 meters. 
And uh, let's increase our speed to five knots. We're gonna have to do some torpedo evasion here soon. Retrieve the tow array. There we go. Come on, little guys. <laughs> Thanks for the two dollars, uh, Jess. More impressive mod if the crew said cheeky breaky. Hey, we're getting a new stalker game. Probably have plenty of that. I'm surprised. What depth are these things at? I'm surprised. Okay, it's not cavitating anymore. Oh, she's about to get hit. Sorry. Okay. One. There we go. Uh oh. What the hell happened? Bring me back. Oh, we lost it. We lost good contact on it. Okay, well, in any case... Attracting this hood array. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's go active. Uh, torpedoes closing in on the LA once again. Hey, I'm surprised she hasn't dropped any decoys. Maybe she's out. She's already used them all. Blow the prop off. Uh-oh. That, that doesn't look like fun. It. Torpedo impact. Okay, let's drop our wire guided torpedo. Oh, she blew ballast. Okay. I think our airdrop torpedo just landed right here. Let's, let's make a little turn. Put a raise retracted. Okay, there's another one. LA's on the surface. Bring this thing up. I hate to do this to you. here at 200 meters. Can run. Imagine being on that cargo ship, yikes. Torpedo has acquired. Running towards target. We'll guide it a little bit. Try to hit just right amidships there. There we go. That got her. There we go. That was fun. That was a nice uh, anti-submarine warfare little mission there. And we didn't crush our boat.
And there she is, sitting nice and happy at the bottom. And we're good to leave combat. One Los Angeles class submarine sunk. Total tonnage, 6,927. Um, probably not my mission objective. I do like this. This artwork, the kilo by the iceberg, kind of cool. Continue. Okay. Oh, we'll just save there and that'll, that'll do it folks. It's been fun. It's been a good stream. A little shorter than uh, the previous ones. Hopefully this one doesn't get a copyright strike. I think I got all, rid of all the copywritten music. And you know what? I uh, I have it drilled into my thick skull uh, to watch my depth now. So there's there's that. <laughs> uh, hopefully that won't happen again. We'll see. Um, well, in the next uh, 1968 campaign uh, episode, the last one will come out Thursday. And then I'll probably do a series on this. Although I do expect a series with this mod will not be that long. Hey, yeah, thank you all for watching. Thanks for the donations. I appreciate it. And, uh... <laughs> Going deep doesn't work. Does it go deeper? Well, I don't know about that. You know, and... I, I hate this. I probably... I won't play with the English voices, but they definitely do help. And also, if I wasn't just, uh... Uh, I was an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. That's why I crushed today. But you know what? It's all part of the game. It's a learning experience. I'm showing off the mod and I'm showing off uh, crush depths. I, I make the mistakes so you don't have to. And on that note, we'll end the stream. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. <laughs>